I predicted this a long time ago. I predicted that businesses, the owners were going to be too busy. They were going to put a lot of trust into their employees, which we should always do because if you can't trust your employees, how are you going to be able to run your business? But the system is failing for business owners. And I see this firsthand. Now, one of the things that we do uh, that I started doing because being in the advertising business, the number one thing that business owners will complain about is that the marketing is not getting any response. When you're advertising, it's not getting any calls. And I deal with a lot of local business owners uh, and I would tell them, hey, you know, we're doing our part so there must be a breakdown somewhere. But if you don't have that proof, they're not going to be able to, you know, they, they're going to go with, with what they know, which is they're going to trust their employees, which they should. And they're going to just say, hey, your advertising isn't working. So what, what we decided to do was we said, OK, we're going to put tracking numbers. We're going to put tracking numbers. That means that uh, when a call comes in, it's going to hit the tracking number, but then it's going to go over to your number. And we'll just record all the calls. We'll uh, be able to give you a report to let you know how many calls came in. If you missed any calls, uh, you we give you an app to download so you can even go and see that. And then if your uh, business owner is at home or away or they got some free time, they're able to listen to those calls. So it's like a huge benefit, a huge uh answer that they would want to get because if they know that their advertising is working then they can start looking internally so now let me just go over some of the, the problems that we found dealing with the business owners uh employees we found that calls were not being answered professionally we found that uh calls were not being answered we found that voicemails were full where people were calling business owners and when they wanted to leave a message, they couldn't even leave a business message. What do you think? What do you think that they're going to do? They're not going to sit there. They're trying to get a service right at that time. So they're, they're, they're like, they want to get an answer. They're just going to go to someone else. Uh, we found that some of the restaurants that we worked with, they were missing orders because, and, and it's some of this stuff is, is hard to, uh, to deal with, especially if you're a restaurant and you've got, you know, one or two order takers. And you're putting people on hold and then maybe you only have a few lines and then it's not going to let the call go through. Some of that stuff you can't avoid. But when it comes to us to proving that we're getting the job done on our side, it was very important. And so uh, we had learned a lot of lessons. We started using the tracking numbers because, uh, number one, they start uh, it's not all, but some of the business owners found that their phones, uh, when, when clients call, or customers call for their products or service, that they wasn't being answered in a professional way. I mean, just think about it. You call a business and they don't answer, and the person answers the phone. It was not professional. Uh, think about it. If you call and uh, they don't answer, or you call and the uh, voicemail is full, or you call in your own hole for ex an extremely long time, these are some of the things that they were dealing with. And so I came up with a system to help business owners, number one, be able to deal with this because all of us as business owners deal with this, all of us. So you got to use technology to kind of help you out because if you don't, then you're just like really wasting money. So let me go over what I do for companies. And, uh, you know, you can utilize something like this for your business because it it will work. It will, number one, it, it'll take care of if you have uh, problems with calls coming in and there's an issue with your workers, you're going to be able to, uh, you, you know, use a, a, a service that will let you listen to the calls. And then if you miss calls and the, the voicemail was full or for some other reason, it's going to also be able to allow you to see those numbers. So the first thing, first one is I use a company called CallRail and uh, there's other ones out there. All you have to do is you would forward your number to your uh, to your number that you wanted 
and you would be able to download their app and use, using that app, you will know if your workers are answering the phone professionally. All calls would be recorded. You can even look at the calls from your cell phone. So that's number one. If you don't want to do any of what I'm about to show you afterwards, after this to enhance, at least do something like this because it will help your business tremendously. Like just understanding what your employees are doing when you're not there. Man, it that was a eye opener for me when I saw that. And um, you can see here, we've generated literally hundreds of calls for businesses and uh, uh, we record them. And you, it'll also allow you to record the calls too. So now let's get into the simplest formula that a business owner can use regardless of what business you're in. This is the simplest one that you can use to make your business grow from utilizing online advertising. And the, the, the I would say this is the simplest one for certain businesses. If your business is, is in the direct service type category, then you would want to do what I would consider, what, what I would say. You would want to do pay per call. That's where they saw your ad and they would automatically call you. And that's where the call rail would really uh, benefit you. But now if you're in the insurance business, maybe you have a business where you need to generate leads, maybe you have a lawn service, maybe you have a credit uh, repair company, maybe you are uh, in the final expense insurance business, any business that generates leads where you want to be more aggressive, where you want to, to call people back, this here is the formula for you. I have another formula uh, for if you're uh, not, uh, you know, that type of business where you want to have people call you, that would be the straight up the Google uh, call program, call only ads. But for this one here, I want you to, to uh, take a look at this. Uh, this makes so much sense. I've been able to build uh, my businesses off of it. Corporations even utilize the same formula. And so it's not something that, uh, you know, is hard to do, but a lot of businesses don't do it. And I admit that when I first started uh, my online company, to, it's a service company, but I advertise online, is that I, I really thought that the best way to advertise would be to just throw a whole bunch of ads out there because there's millions of people who might potentially want my product or service. And then I learned very quick that that is not the way it works, that people make buying decisions based off of uh, if they feel good about buying your product or service, they make decisions based off of the time that they are ready to buy it. It's a whole bunch of vari variables uh, come into play when people are looking at buying a product or service. And so what you have to do is you have to put together a plan of action to be able to, number one, continue marketing to people and to continue generating leads of people who are interested in your product or service and take them through a sales funnel process. Uh, I know you've heard of a sales funnel before, but very few people actually put it in place. Like so many people see it, they start the process of it, but they kind of get a little, uh, uh, you know, frustrated because number one, they don't see, think that it's going to work for them. Uh, number two, they think it's just too much work to do it. And then maybe you know, you're not a technical where you know how to put all of these pieces together because no uh, uh, software or program really does have all of the pieces for a funnel to make it work. Yes, there are ones that, that come close. But when you really look at it, when I look at what I've had to do in action, it does not work that way. You're going to you're going to need multiple pieces to make it work. And so, uh, you know, it, it frustrates people. It makes them think that, you know, it's just going to take too much time. But on the flip side of that is if you have this in place, you're going to be feeding a lot of things. You're going to be fixing a lot of issues that you would have with your business. Number one. 
you're going to be getting leads on a daily basis. Like the lifeblood of your business is to have people to talk to about what you had to offer. So what you would want to do is you want to get those interested people. You want to send them to your offer, but most people are not going to buy your offer. Regardless, I don't care how good you are, the best top sales companies, coaches, whatever business they're in, the percentages are still going to be in that three to five percent. That means that most people, what they do is they throw away the whole other uh, 95 percent of people who don't buy at that time. That's why you want to put together a follow up process so you can com communicate with people. I call it that no like and trust that repetition builds recognition. And the way that I do it and the way that I consult with my clients to do it, no matter what type of business you have, even a restaurant, even a furniture store, I was just doing a consultation for a furniture store. And I said, you would still want to do it this way, even though your, your ultimate goal is to get people to come into the store. Because how many people have even came into your store and didn't buy from you? And do you have the names and emails and phone numbers of those people? Do you even just have the email addresses of those people? Just think of how many times you could have just communicated with them with different special offers that you have if you would have just had their email or even just their phone number to send them a quick text. That's why it's very important. So here's my simple formula for you, my homework that I want you to get done so you can start generating more leads, so you can start uh, uh, having your leads know, like, and trust you so you can generate more sales. So first, I want you to put together an ad. You can pick your platform, depending on what type of business you have, that, that it's going to determine what platform you want to advertise on. But for this example, we'll say Facebook. And what you want to do is you want to put an ad together that's going to generate interest. And when those people that are interested raise their hand, you're going to capture their information. You can either, you can capture name, email, phone number. There's other options that you can capture even more. Or you can just capture just their email address, depending on what type of business you have. If you're more aggressive, you, maybe you want to call people back, then you won't name, email, phone number. But the big uh, takeaway from this is that these individuals are interested in what you have. They raise their hand, but that, that does not mean that they're ready to buy. When they opt in, I want you to automatically send them to your sales page, your offer, whatever you're going to be uh, selling them. Maybe it's just uh, where you can't sell them. You need to talk to them. You need to utilize that page to kind of uh, let them know who you are about your business and a little bit of information about your product or service. Because if you're able to do that, just think about it. If you're able to do that, that's gonna put you a step ahead, step ahead of anyone that is doing straight up cold calling. So you're gonna be able to let them know, hey, this is uh, John's plumbing service. Maybe you know, you're know someone that wants to do some type of a, uh, upgrade type work. Now I wouldn't do John's plumbing service if, or emergency you wouldn't do that on Facebook but uh, or say that you're an insurance you know you do life insurance and you let people know hey I'm gonna give you a call back this is my number because you know there's a lot of spam calls out there so watch for a call from this number here's my name the you know a little bit about your company that stuff that's gonna make that call back very good and then you would call and text you know to make sure that you can get them on the phone because even even with leads, it is still difficult to get people on the phone. That's just the way because the, the way it is because we all have a busy lifestyle. And then what I want you to do is I want you to put together at least a minimum uh, email follow-up once a week uh, that would just reiterate what would have been on your, your uh, uh, offer page. And this is going to help with people who were busy. Maybe, uh, you know, something came up at work they had to do a lot of overtime so they're just not going to be answering the phone they're not going to be able to follow up with you so you do it again you uh remind them again in week number two and then maybe they're still busy but week number three maybe they're like hey yeah i'm ready to do this and hey i'm ready to do it who who do you think is going to come up first in their mind someone uh, are they going to go searching for an ad or they're going to be like who is that person that was emailing me over and over and over maybe i'll give them a shot 
that is is exactly what happened with my business is that number one uh one of the big benefits that uh, uh came about is when i was sending out these emails automated emails and there's several companies that you can set up to get this set up uh for uh, sending out auto emails they were all programmed so when someone became a lead uh, on day one an email would go out that would reiterate what was on here but what i started finding was that people would think that i'm personally sending them an email and so it gave a personal touch and then at some point after receiving several emails from me some of the times uh on mine my my email is extensive i have over almost a hundred that i have in my funnel but like after a certain period of time they were like hey I'm ready to sign up with your business. I want someone to call me to sign me up. Or if your business can can uh, take orders without anyone speaking to them, that's one of my companies can do that also, is that people would open up the email and then they would just go right to the thank you page, to that sales page, and they would just order. They would just sign up themselves. And the reason why they felt comfortable doing that is because they, number one, saw that I was consistently advertising. They were already on my list, and I kept emailing them more and more information about my business. So this, like, bottom line, this would be something that you should have in place for your business. It does not matter. Even if you're an e-commerce store, just think of all of the people who have seen your ad for your e-commerce products or services that didn't buy. And if you had just their email address, you would be able to send them back to your e-commerce store over and over and over again. And on a daily basis, when you're advertising, you would get new, fresh leads that would be going to your e-commerce store. So if you would like to learn more about this, I do have consultations uh, where I can consult with your, uh, you know, just see what you're doing. And if I think that we can help you, I would, you know, tell you how we can do it. And I would give you a, a fee for doing that. Or if you want to learn how to do this yourself, there is a link to my Level Up Your Business program. It's a, a course that's direct that will show you step by step exactly how you can advertise your business, generate more leads, or generate more calls, depending on what type of business you have. Thank you for your time. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, post your questions and comments, and please like this video.